Hello, my name is Blake Becker. I'm a fourth year student at Wayne State University, and I'm currently pursuing my degree in electrical engineering. I've taken many classes uh, in science, math, and physics at Wayne State, and because of that, I am more adept to understanding uh, scientific articles when I read them, which really helped me out during this assignment. Um, analyzing this article, it helped me find uh, points in the article itself and be able to summarize them, find what I think is the most important thing to note about an article, and then be able to present on that as well. So for the structure of this presentation, I'm going to go over the introduction, middle, and conclusion of the article, talk about what I thought was important in all of those. Um, during that, I'm going to include information that I thought was important from inside and outside of the article. And then to finish it off, I'm going to talk about what I thought was the main idea, what I thought was the biggest points to get out of it. So to start off, we'll talk about the uh, mysterious closure. Uh, the Sunset Solar Observatory on September 6th was shut down. Uh, and this came without any warning. So the employees had no idea what was going on, and the public didn't know what was going on. No, and the employees weren't told anything. They weren't told what was happening. The public wasn't told what was happening. Um, all we know is that the FBI came in, and they're the ones that shut them down. Now, this is odd because the building's been shut down before, but it's been shut down because of weather. Uh, so it's on top of a mountain, so they have snow, rain, and sewage problems sometimes that causes the building to shut down. But this time was completely different because the FBI came into play and shut them down. Some of the theories as to why it got shut down, um, there's a postal service that is on that same mountain, and they deliver the mail to the observatory. So some people thought that uh, this mail service could have been delivering them something illegal, and they got shut down as well, the postal, the postal service did. Uh, so the postal service came out, and they said we had nothing to do with um, with the observatory getting shut down. Our shutdown was for a completely different reason. So that rules out that theory. Another theory was that there was a spy. So this observatory can, if it wants to, look over a missile testing site. And if another country wants that information, they just have to send someone over, get hired into the observatory, and have them look and gather information for them. Um, this was an unlikely theory because the observatory, they monitor solar activity. So it's looking at the sun most of the time. So it has no real reason unless it's being adjusted to move into the direction of the missile testing site. But that brings us to the third theory, where it could have been an accident, where somebody could have been moving the telescope, moved it over, accidentally saw something, and because of that, the FBI had to come in and do background checks on everybody and keep everything a secret. And the most likely choice is that third one, where somebody might have accidentally saw something. Um, because of the secrecy of the situation, that makes a lot of sense. The FBI comes in. They don't want to say uh, what was going on. They kind of just want to get their investigation in, get background checks done. Uh, if the FBI goes public with it, then that spy could be in trouble. And uh, he could go back to his country and he could try to flee or some things could just go wrong with it. Um, but it's also important to note that this lack of information is what causes the spread of conspiracy theories. Um, in conclusion, nobody still knows what happens. Um, this happened a little bit ago, and it's still under investigation. Uh, the location is intriguing because it's in New Mexico, and New Mexico has uh, has been known for their secrets, like uh, Area 51. It's uh, just a place nobody, the public doesn't really know what's going on. They do government tests there, a uh, couple army tests. And this is how conspiracy theories are spread, which I think is a really important thing to uh, to note. When people aren't given information and uh, something's kept secret, people start to piece together things and try to make their own theories. Uh, for example, with the post office, the post office got shut down, the observatory got shut down, people put that together, and they say, well, this must be connected somehow. You start to really uh, stretch out the truth as to what really happened. So the truth is probably something that's less extravagant than anything that anybody's offered so far. 
Um, so it's really important to look into the, how these conspiracy theories are spread and see that we you kind of just have to wait and gather all the information first. Thank you for listening. This has been my presentation on the mysterious closure of the observatory in New Mexico.